Hello viewer, welcome to Manana channel. The driver of this vehicle is driving home from work and the uh, dash light starts to light up with the engine light, ABS light, charging system light, all the option lights are lit up in the dash. So in uh, the car engine uh, stall, she could not restart the car. So this is 2009 Honda Civic and we're going to look at this car to see what could be wrong with the uh, electrical system. What I'd like to do is uh, check the battery voltage here. Okay, so, so we're going to measure the voltage here and here and it is 12 volt. What I would like you to do is try to crank it and see um, see what it's doing, okay? All right, that's good. We're gonna change the battery. We're gonna put a new battery in. Then we check the voltage again. We check the charging system to see if it's uh, putting more, uh, putting voltage to the battery. So to disconnect battery, disconnect the uh, ground first. Now it's disconnect. And we can disconnect the battery hole down. And the terminal, the red terminal as well. Changing the battery and checking the battery, charging voltage, car is running, and it's only 12.26 volts, so that's telling me the alternator is not charging. We should be expect to see 14 something volt on here. This is a brand new battery. Now we're going to replace the alternator. We're going to disconnect the negative battery terminal. The alternator is locating right here by the belt, and we're going to disconnect the uh, alternator connector. When I pull up the boot on the connector uh, that fit the alternator, I notice the wire already weakening up and it pulled apart. But this is not a good news because we now have to repair this two connector uh, wire and I'm not sure where it go. So I'm going to pull the connector apart, check the schematic, and I can see this wire color as noted on the schematic. I repair the wire with some extra jumper and solder in place. So here's a little blue cap here and all you have to do is just push that out. It's not even locked, it just kind of sit inside there, remove this um, uh, blue cap. You will have access to the locking tab to push the pin out. Uh, if you can solder the wire to that pin so you don't have to buy a new one and notice the orientation of this blue cap there's a push tab locking tab on top here there's two little small grooves it's a key that sit in the bottom here so just in case you may orient this 180 degree out okay and the back of this connector uh, there's a rubber grommet right here that can just push and pull it out uh, just sitting in there, so you no glue, uh, easy to get out. And the orientation again, the uh, um, this white and red go behind white and green. White and blue go behind white, uh, black and yellow. Locking tab should be positioned on top. That's orientation. And uh, now I'm gonna tape the connector. Remove this issue with 10 millimeter bolt. The bolts are here and here. This also disconnect this connector uh, right there. There's a bracket here with a 10 millimeter bolt. Take that out. So I did. I should remove that and disconnect this. 
get it out of the way. And there's a bracket here that's supporting this harness, also removed. Now I'm gonna remove this uh, 10 millimeter for the battery to charging. This connector also come out. To remove the belt, there is a tensioner. The tensioner is this bolt right there. It's a hex uh, bolt, 19 millimeter. Use the two boxing wrench. Uh, one boxing wrench, 19 millimeter, go in uh, over that. And the second one uses the lever and push the handle to the back of the car. The key push toward the back of the car to release the tensioner and then slide the belt off the uh, pulley. Here's a view of the hex bolt circle in yellow. Boxing wrench over that and push it toward the back of the car. Push it slow until you, the belt slowly releases. Next, this 12 millimeter bolt to secure the alternator. That bolt break loose and this one just below this pulley. Uh, it's 12 millimeter. I have the socket sitting in there right now. That to remove the alternator. Don't think of this some um, bolt in front here. There's a bolt in front here for the tensioner. That's not the one. Don't remove that. Just remove the one below the pulley, 12 millimeter. Four millimeter bolt now should come out. It's a long bolt. Below the pulley, I already loosing it. 12 millimeter bow as well. Here we go. Short one. The alternator now drop, and I should be able to pick it up and take it right out of the car. We go it out. I want to take a bit of time, take a look at this. What you're trying to adjust a while ago to release the tension is this 18, 19 millimeter here. And when you push the thing here to the back of the car, you essentially push this tensioner here up to loosen the belt. So that, this here is a tensioner here. That, this is not a tensioner, but this is a tensioner. Tensioner down connected there to that one. So it pivot and it keep the belt tension. So uh, when this thing here go bad, you have to remove this. It's a lot of work to remove this tensioner and to remove this tensioner you may want to consider removing the water pump as well this is the water pump and get them out all at the same time because it's a, quite a bit of work so to reinstall the alternator reverse procedure put the alternator in place install the 12 millimeter long bolt and 12 millimeter short one right below the pulley can't really see because this a they see lines in the way, but it's going in, so nice and easy. So to put the bell back on, 19 millimeter wrench, and I have a little extension, cheater wrench, and just push it toward the back of the car and slide the bell over to the uh, pulley. But you have to compress this tensioner slowly. As I said, move it really slow to the back of the car, and it should go right in. Uh, to torque the uh, alternator bolt, this bolt right there, 17 foot pound, 12 millimeter, one on top, one on the bottom. The alternator is back in. Put his shoe back on and tighten it up. And there's one bolt down here to hold the cable. So tighten that up. This bracket back on the new alternator. That is to support uh, this harness. It should clip right into that little hole, hold the harness in place. Next, I'm gonna install the harness. And these cables are very stiff, so I don't like to bend too much. I'm gonna tape this connector again because it's damaged. And uh, we should go from there. Just to recap what we just did, we changing the alternator. Uh, first, the car wouldn't work, so we changing the uh, the battery was dead. So I changed the battery. 
uh, to change the battery, remove uh, 10 millimeter here in this bracket and 10 millimeter on the uh, uh, negative terminal first and then positive. Uh, take, the take the clamp out, take the battery out, put a new one in. Uh, check for the voltage to see if the voltage is the 12 volt from the battery uh, when the car is not running. Uh, start the car and check the voltage again across the terminal ba uh, ter the battery terminal and you should expect to see 12, uh, 14 volt. In this case, we did not. So we went to the alternator and the alternator checking the connection, checking for visible 12 volt at the bottom of this connector uh, that feed the alternator and there is a 12 volt so the alternator wouldn't charge. Um, well, get a new alternator and to replace the alternator, there's a tensioner in the back here, 19 millimeter. Use a boxing wrench and push it toward the back of the car to release the tension of the belt. Slide the belt off the pulley. Remove the alternator. You will remove. Uh, you unscrew the uh, unbolt the um, 12 millimeter. I'm not sure you can see it right there. 12 millimeter bolt, long bolt down there, and there's another 12 millimeter right below this pulley, directly below that. The alternator will slide out and uh, then transfer all your hardware and the bracket back and thing back together. Now we're going to test the car to see if we get 14 volt. 14.3 volt. It's working perfect. Alternator, new alternator. Alternator light on the dash, car running, perfect. Well, that's it folks. We replaced the alternator, we replaced the battery. Uh, the challenge of this job I, uh, I had was the uh, green connector on top of the alternator, the two wire that broke. I have to uh, fix those two wire. I spent a lot of time looking at the pin layout and schematic to make sure I have the two wire in the right spot. So if you have problem with your car, with those connector, uh, have a look at this video, verify the uh, color code that I had uh, in my connector, it is the right way, and uh, match that, uh, you'll be okay. Uh, thank you for watching, if you like the video, click like and subscribe.